Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing yet another Betty Crocker cake mix. I'm doing the super moist dark chocolate cake mix. I love Betty Crocker cake mixes. I'll always do Betty Crocker when it comes to my cake mixes. So welcome guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's get ready for the cake. Thanks. So guys, this cake it's very simple the ingredients are really simple you just need quarter cup vegetable oil you can use any vegetable oil one and quarter cups pure water or drinking water and three large eggs that's all you need and you're good to go I'm using my hand mixer to mix the egg mix so I'm just beating one egg and mixing it for for like two minutes and then I add the second egg and the third egg At this point, I'm going to add my cake mix into the egg mixture. I'll add it in batches interchangeably with the water and the vegetable oil. I'll mix with the, using my hand mixer until the butter is smooth.
The cake is ready. I've just removed it from the oven. I've waited for around 10 minutes for it to cool down. Um, I'm cutting it into two separate pieces to enable me to do the frosting. I'm using the whipping cream frosting on the cake. On the two pieces of cake, I'm just sprinkling sugar syrup. I made the sugar syrup by just boiling a bit of water and I added sugar and waited until the sugar has dissolved. So I'm just brushing the water on top of the cake just to make the cake moist and sweeter. So guys, I'm ready to do the whipping cream. I'm using the Dairyland whipping cream. I love it. <laughs> My camera there refused to focus. But well, moving on swiftly. So I'm going to use the whole bottle of the whipping cream. That's around 500 ml. 3 quarter cup icing sugar and a tablespoon of the vanilla extract.
I did a bit of decoration here and there, nothing too serious. If you've watched till the end of the video, I just want to thank you guys and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.